In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to do a, a simple one-way ANOVA in JASP. And so we're back to this the data file from this campus climate uh, survey. And so what we're going to look at for this particular analysis is we're going to look at um, the study abroad experience that students had. So they were placed in either one of three categories. They either said, um, hey, I haven't studied abroad yet, but I plan to study abroad in the future. Or I've had a study abroad experience either during a semester or during an interim. Or, hey, I've got no plans to study abroad while I'm at Bethel. And then let's use this ethnocultural empathy scale again. So remember, this is uh, um, uh, ex uh, feeling an expression um, scale uh, related to that. So the higher the score, the more ethnocultural empathy that a student had. And so you might say, hey, if students have had a study abroad experience, maybe that's more likely to increase this ethnocultural empathy. So. We'll go over here to ANOVA. ANOVA just stands for Analysis of Variance. Um, we click down and we're, we're just looking at a simple one-way ANOVA because all we're looking at is one independent variable that has three groups. And we're going to see the if there's a difference in for that variable um, with our um, between our, our three groups. So we've got a study of broad group that goes in the fixed factor is really our, D, our independent variable for this particular study. Um, so that's our study abroad group. And then our dependent variable is this scale, okay, ethnocultural empathy scale. And so I'll put that over in there right away as we, as we look at, at this, okay, it gives us our, our sums of squares for the study abroad group. Our degrees of freedom, remember there are three categories, so, so three minus one gives us two. Um, our mean square then, um, which is just simply the sum of squares divided by the degrees of freedom, gives us that mean square number. And then our F value, and that is just the mean square for the study abroad group divided by the residual, or sometimes we call this the mean square error down here, okay? This is functionally the difference we'd expect by chance right here. So we, this is our ratio, our F ratio that we have here. Here's our F score, and then here's our P value. And it's less than 0 0.05, um, 0 0.002. So we say we've got a statistically significant difference. All this tells us at this point, this is what we call an omnibus F ratio. All this tells us right now is that at least um, two of these groups are significantly different from one another. But based off of this, we don't know which groups are significantly different from one of the other things I like to do here is the assumption check. So we do a homogeneity of uh, variances test. Um, and so based functionally, we just look at this to say, are the variances between the, the three groups similar enough to one another? That's one of the assumptions of an ANOVA. And if this is 0 0.05 or less, then the, that assumption has been violated and we'd have to make some corrections. In this case, it's not, so we don't have to make uh, corrections to it. Let's just say it was less than 0 0.05. How we make those corrections, we click on, we click here, and it makes the corrections for us here, okay? Um, so the brown foresight or the, or the uh, welch, you could use either one of them. And over here, then once they made the correction, you would just use these rather than this top one uh, to interpret the results. You can see here, given that the variances were similar enough to one another, the corrections really don't really don't have much in effect whatsoever. Let's get the corrections out then, since we didn't have to do that. Um, the other big thing that we that we want to do is what's called post hoc tests. Um, so remember, we said all we know right now is at least two of these means are significantly different from one another. So the post hoc test helps us to look at the study abroad group. And we're going to put that over there. And we're, when um, we can choose whichever ones we want here, um, two keys is fine. If you want to take a couple different ones, you can, you can do that. Um, two keys is usually a pretty standard one, so that's fine to use. This one's, by the way, called chef bays, not chefs. Um, but um, two key is just fine for this class to, to use as our post hoc test. And we want to get some effect sizes as well. 
And so this now, it tells us where, uh, where the differences lie here. And so this first one is comparing the study abroad experience. People have had a study abroad experience to those who plan to study abroad. Here's the mean difference between the two groups, the standard error. Here's our T value. So it's almost two and a half. The mean difference is almost two and a half times larger than what you'd expect by chance. Here's our Cohen's D. It's, it's relatively small. And then um, here's our P value. See how it has least listed P two keys. Here's the probability of getting a T that large by chance. It's less than our threshold of 0.05. So we would say there is a significant difference between those who have had a study abroad experience and those who plan to study abroad. This one compares those who have had a study abroad experience, whoops, excuse me, those who have had a study abroad experience to those with no plans to study abroad. And you see that's a significant difference. That's a bigger difference um, that, we, that we see here. And you see a, a larger T value. And then the last one compares the, basically the two control conditions here. Um, those who plan to study abroad and those who have no plans to study abroad and that there's no difference here. Now, the most important for this particular set of data, the most important result is this one here. This plan to study abroad group is a really good, is a better control group to make a comparison with than the no plans to study abroad. Because so this tells us, hey, it's, it's not just that those who want to have a study abroad experience already have higher ethnocultural empathy. Um, this says, okay, um, it, it probably is the experience that's having an impact on, on the ethnocultural empathy, increasing ethnocultural empathy. Um, uh, and then we can, we can again do our descriptive plots too for this. So if we take this and put it over, we can get our, um, our plots here and we can display our air bars with it as well. And so it displays the air bars. And then I want to show you one, probably one of the more important things that you want to end up seeing in the additional options is uh, the marginal means. So you want to see what, uh, what are the actual means between the different groups. And so that gives us our means here. And we see that our study abroad experience group had the highest mean. Um, our plan to study abroad was next. And the no plans to study abroad was uh, had the lowest score. And you'll notice that those two are pretty similar to one another just like what we saw in the post hoc test and that our study abroad uh, experience group at the, uh, had the highest uh, ethnocultural empathy mean. But before we, we write up the results, I notice here there's a couple things I didn't do, a couple extra pieces of information. So if I scroll down um, and uh, I look at the additional options piece, remember we did that once before to get the marginal means, but what we'd also like is the descriptive statistics that just gives us the means and the standard deviations with the sample sizes, and then the estimates of a of effect size. And you, you'll notice that estimate of effect size just went in there. That's called eta squared. Um, that's the effect size that we use for for an, an ANOVA. Um, and so uh, we, I think, we have all our all the information now that we would that we would need. We go up here for writing up our results. We go up here. We copy. Uh, we go back. We go to our Word document. Hopefully. Uh, and we can paste this down below. And so, okay, so here's the here's the write up. You'll notice this write up is a little longer than what we had before for the for the t test. We just have more information here. So you'll notice the first sentence is really about the the omnibus f ratio, just the overall test of things. So overall, there is a significant difference between the three groups in ethnocultural empathy. And then F, so that's showing that we use an ANOVA, we use the F ratio. And then the 2 and uh, 775, that's our degrees of freedom. So I found this down here in the ANOVA table, 2 and then um, 775. So I put those in there, equals 6.44, that's my F ratio right here. Um, uh, P, and it should not be less than, should be P equals 0 0.002. So here's our 0 0.002, our probability value. And then here's our eta squared, which is our measure of, of effect size. By the way, when you're writing things up and you're saying, well, geez, I don't know where to find that eta squared, just go here, um, copy it, 
and and paste it right here and you'll have you'll have your eta squared. Remember that we're italicizing all our symbols and that would include the eta squared. Then our next uh, sentence gets at the, the post hoc test. Really, this is, this is the meat of what we're interested in, in the results. So I described, we used the Tukey's post hoc test, revealed that students who have studied abroad, and then I have the mean and standard deviation for that group, their ethnocultural mean and standard de- uh, empathy, excuse me, ethnocultural empathy, mean and standard deviation had significantly higher ethnocultural empathy scores compared to students who plan to study abroad. I've got that here. I got their, their, their means and standard deviations. But then I also have the, the D, the effect size for the difference between those two and the P value. Okay. So remember, where did I, well, well, one, where did I find those means and standard deviations? Remember that was down here in the descriptive. So that's where I'll find my means and standard deviations uh, for this. And then when I go up here, that's where for those two groups, the study abroad versus plan to study abroad, that's where I find my Cohen's D and that's where I find my probability value uh, for, for that one. So we have all that information right there for the comparison. And those with no plans to study abroad, and so I've got the mean standard deviations and the, the effect sizes there. So remember, the means and standard deviations are right down here in the descriptives. And then the, the effect size for the comparison um, is right here. And then that probability, probability value, the p-value, is right there as well. So I've got all that information right in, here, right in there within that sentence. And then the last part, I'd just say there's no significant difference between the students who plan to study abroad and the students with no plans to study abroad. And I don't include the means and standard deviations because I already have it up here. That's redundant information. The reader can go up there to see those means and standard deviations. So all I do is include that, that p-value. And that p-value I found right here as the, the comparison um, between, between these two groups. So that's how we would write up the results for this one-way ANOVA.